I definitely want to talk now about a preview of the Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight. What are you looking for in this fight and how concerned are you about the behavior of Ryan on social media leading into the fight? I'm disappointed with the New York State Athletic Commission. As far as I know, they never forced him, him being Garcia, with all the behavior that we're all aware of, his posting, his talking about that he was kidnapped a month ago, two months ago, to his drinking openly, to his smoking in training camp, before training camp, whatever he was doing. Just one crazy thing, after, one disturbing thing after another for months of that. <laughs> and then... He only gets into camp about five weeks before the fight. Then he posted videos of himself with his trainer. Some of them weren't even his trainer, but with his trainer uh, hitting the pads for a minute, a half a minute, two minutes, hitting his pads. And, and he was like out in a parking lot. It, it wasn't even in the gym. And that was only four or five weeks before the fight. If the New York State Athletic Commission, which I called for a month ago on this air, if they did not have him evaluated by some of their doctors, and I mean on a psychiatric level, not just a physical level, not just with his pulse and his heart rate and all that stuff. When you're showing that kind of conduct that begs to ask, are you okay mentally? Are you okay before you get in the ring? There's only one reason why we have commissions, to ensure the welfare and health of a fighter going into a ring to make sure that mentally and physically they are of good, sound mind and body. I don't know that you can say that about Garcia if you didn't evaluate him with the right people. So that's number one. I'm saying New York State Athletic Commission is on the, is on the hook here. I think Garcia, it's, it's fair to say, he might have been having a breakdown in training. Maybe not. Maybe, but there's there's no room, there's no room for a mistake here. If we're saying maybe, that's enough to make sure that he's okay. That enough. The ring is dangerous enough. You don't have to go in there not not right. It's already dangerous enough when you go in there right. So that's number one. Number two. You want me to pick the fight? You want me to just, you know, break the fight down? I don't see, unless Haney, unless Haney goes in there completely reckless, completely the the opposite of what he has shown himself to be in his fight so far as a responsible guy in the ring, a guy who's ready, a guy who's sharp, a guy who's responsible defensively, offensively, a guy who controls the outside. He's a sharpshooter with his He controls range. Unless he goes in there and tries to be a bull in the china shop, again, thinking that he's got a, uh, you know, a dead man walking, if you will, in front of him. Other than that, which I don't expect, I cannot see Garcia surviving more than six rounds, five, six rounds. I can't. I don't think Garcia can be physically or mentally right for this fight. Hey, look, if he did this to, to promote the fight, if he did this to get more pay-per-view buys, if he did this to make his social media bit bigger, if he did that consciously, um, deliberately, oh my God. First of all, he's the greatest actor ever. He should go to Hollywood and retire from <laughs> boxing. That's number one. He really should. But other than that, I look at things for what I can see them to be. You know that old saying, if it walks like a duck and sounds like a duck, usually it's a duck. When a guy is acting this way, usually there's something wrong. Garcia's thing, he, he should use a jab to control range. He's a little longer than Haney. He should do that. He should also look for the left hook to the body and look to try to set traps to catch Haney coming in uh, with the left hook. Also set the table with his jab and eat with the right hand. That's what Garcia should do. What's Haney want to do? He might want to be more aggressive. He showed in the Lomachenko fight. He showed in the Prograis fight that he is getting more aggressive now. Uh, when, when he thinks it's the right time to be. He's setting himself more. He's not a huge puncher, but he, he catches you clean. He's a sharpshooter. He's a decent puncher. Uh, Garcia's a better puncher with the one punch with the left hook. But Haney is setting himself, bending his knees, sitting down more, 
he is getting a little bit more, like I said, assertive. Uh, what he used to do was just control the outside, look to pot shot, look to sniper you uh, with, with those real sharp punches and combinations he can put together, controls range. But I have a feeling at some point he's going to be inclined to do what he's been showing in his last two fights, where he is becoming a little more assertive. He will probably look, if he sees that Garcia doesn't look right, he'll probably start to put the pedal to the metal a little more to go against what he's been throughout his career, a more aggressive fighter. That could turn out where he could get rid of Garcia or could turn out to be a dangerous tactic where he could walk into a left hook of Garcia, a desperate left hook of God. Daddy better be careful of. If I was Haney, I'd be practicing feints before I come in that front door. I'd be making sure my jab is, is clear in the way. I'd be making sure I do not come in in any kind of reckless fashion. At the end of the day, I'm going to say it's going to be tactical early, and then Haney, Garcia is going to do whatever he can do early on, Haney's going to deal with it in a tactical way. And then Haney's going to start to feel like, okay, now I'm going to start to get to him and start to maybe walk him down again. That is not his style. But I can see him doing a little bit of it. But he better do it right. He better do it right. Otherwise, something crazy could happen. And Ryan Garcia could look like a genius. (laughs) <laughs> you know, that, that he uh, set this whole thing up. But at the end of the day, I'm taking Haiti. I can see a scenario I can where... see a he- scenario. Yeah, I can see a scenario too where Haney gets reckless, maybe. That's the only scenario I can see for Garcia to win. Haney gets reckless and Garcia catches him a big left hook or whatever and, and knocks him out. Other than that, I can't, like, I can't see a sustained solid effort by Garcia at this point from everything we know where he 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 controls range he uses jab you know he sets traps he he, you know I I just you got to be together to be able to sustain that kind of fight where you're controlling a guy with a jab at the right distance all night long you got to really be together I can't see that I could see the possibility of a knockout that he, that Haney walks into some. I hope he's okay. I'll finish with that, Ken. I hope that Ryan I agree Garcia with you. is okay. I just hope he's okay. I hope he's all right from a human standpoint. Uh, I know he's getting paid. I hope that's not all this is about. I, I really do. Yeah, I'm with you. He's a, ni- he's a nice kid. 